the Ape, an invasive fish that exists in large quantities throughout the entire 1500 mile Hawaiian archipelago. In the 1950s, the Division of Aquatic Resources introduced several species of snappers and groupers from the South Pacific to Hawaiian waters, intending for them to be a fishing and food resource. The Blue Stripe Snapper, locally known by its station name Ta'ape, was one of the introduced species and its populations have exploded since. It competes with native species for food and habitat on Hawaii's reefs and many fishermen blame Ta'ape for dwindling catches of locally prized species. Fishermen often catch Ta'ape while targeting Hawaii's deep seven bottom fish. Hawaii imports more than 50% of the seafood we consume, a large dependence on imported seafood production considering we are surrounded by ocean. Sustainable local seafood sources must be developed and harvesting tape can help. It will increase local food production and decrease the pressure tape places on Hawaii's reef ecosystem. It can also help reduce pressure on other commercially fish species. The Monterey Bay Aquarium's Seafood Watch Program, a global leader in sustainable seafood, rates tape as a best choice. A delicious snapper with a mild white meat that is an excellent source of vitamin B12. This is a unique opportunity at hand to generate local economic activity, increase food security, and help Hawaii's marine environment. Now let's hear what some of Hawaii's finest chefs and seafood industry experts have to say about Ta'ape. I believe that probably the, pr the biggest issue um, presenting all of us right now is climate change. Um, I've said it time and time again, and I think the easiest way for Hawaiian chefs in particular because we are so isolated is to stop importing so much food. I, I feel we have a larger responsibility and I don't think chefs could, should feel that their artistic talents and their creativity is stifled by limiting their paint palette to all the colors that we have to paint with in Hawaii. You know, we have to think about what our other resources are, and ta'ape is a invasive species here in Hawaii. It is a reef fish, and it's delicious. It's very similar. Um, it's sort of like a snapper. It's in the snapper family. Um, so it has this very tender, white, flaky texture and flavor that's very similar to, say, a lake fish, like a walleye or a perch, and um, it's delicious. I first encountered ta'ape, I ran into a friend at at Richardson's and uh, he just gave me a bag full of fish and one of them was tape. Took it home and fried it up and it's delicious. Tape stacks up really well against more popular fish. Uh, the meat is delicate, it's fine grained, uh, mild in flavor. It would hold up to aggressive cooking styles like you could grill it, you could fry it, but it's also really nice just barely gently cooked, steamed or poached in oil like we did at the dinner. Um, again raw is delicious as well. Ta'ape, it, it's a local fish, it's of lesser demand. I, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see what happens because it may become in such demand that the price may go, go up with it. But right now, it's, it's a more affordable option to ahi or, or even the other deep seven snapper. If fishermen don't think it's worth their time to go get it because they get paid five bucks for mempachi and two bucks for ta'ape, they're not gonna go fish it. So I think part of the problem for us over all these years was actually sourcing it because it wasn't worth the fishermen's time to get it. Now, the fishermen are getting paid commensurate with the other reef fish they can get, so they're, they're going out and getting it. So we source the ta'ape from local fishermen that go out for the day. They'll, they'll target certain species of fish. Um, if they're going for bottom fish, they will get ta'ape mixed in because they are in those same depths. It will give another option for fishermen to be able to supply another species of fish. So if we could create the market for a ta'ape, it would be a big benefit for everybody all around. If we could get, you know, buy-in from upper levels, say you have it, hotels, restaurants that could really showcase ta'ape as one of their higher dishes. So instead of 
serving onaga or mahi mahi opa that kind of stuff and surf top is that's the way i think you're going to get the fishermen to come in when top is is the prize fish the consumer is not, doesn't see what happens behind the scenes they see more any food establishment what they offer so i think that platform is the best to educate the consumer. So again, the mission of educating the public when they come to Hawaii on what is a good choice to make, you know, asking your restaurant, asking your server, or your chef, where the fish comes from is super important. Just knowing where your food comes from and understanding when it was harvested, how fresh it is, you can taste the difference and that's something that um, we have that conversation with our customers and they, they say, yeah, you know what, I can taste the difference. You can see it, you can taste it, you know how fresh it is and they can feel good about the food because they know they're supporting our local economy and our local community. We're experts at feeding people, cooking food, throwing a party every night, bringing together, um, as a result, we're in a really perfect position to spread the word about many of these social and environmental issues. Um, just these two little restaurants, we, we serve three to four hundred people a day. So you think we can actually, in essence, tell three or four hundred stories a day about tape or about climate change or whatever it may be. Um, what I found valuable as a chef is partnering with people that they dedicate their time to these sorts of issues and you can rely on the information that they give you. We are hosting an EP Invasive Dinner with Conservation International uh, tomorrow evening and we're working with Tropic Fish who is uh, one of my fish purveyors here in Maui and they've been working directly with some local fishermen, uh, Adam Wong being one of them and they've been basically sourcing to Ape for us for the past week. Well, I have been so looking forward to this event. I have been following, you know, the work that's been happening and really promoting the use of Ta'ape and really fully supporting and wanting to get behind, but not being a spearfisher woman myself. I've been like, how can I get my hands on this? Coming here, I really wasn't sure what, what to expect. I, I thought maybe you're, maybe we're going to get five dishes of pan-fried tape. Uh, I didn't know. Uh, but once we get got the first dish, it was uh, sashimi style. I was amazed at what I was tasting. Uh, today's favorite course was the soup. Uh, amazingness of balance of acidity and umami and uh, just that delicate, like almost like poaching and steaming of the top. It was gorgeous. The more that we can showcase that this fish is ono, that you can, it's not only one throwaway fish that you have to only just fry it, that more people will, will want to eat it. Locals and visitors alike always looking forward to, to a lot of different fish preparations. If, if top is available, why not? Celebrating Hawaii Seafood Month and sustainability, it's, it's all about these partnerships and, like you said, bringing fishers together with chefs and different conservation groups and managers and people with healthy appetites. That's the way that we're going to really tackle these, these challenges. Well, I purposely chose not to do any whole fried fish for the event just because it's the obvious choice. And, so we, we filleted everything and we left the skin on. Um, a lot of the flavor is, is in the skin and there's also a nice flavorful layer of fat beneath the skin. Some raw, some gently cooked, uh, just to showcase the, the versatility and how the cooking method will, will change the experience of eating the fish. I love the fact that it, Ta'ape was our, our palette, our color palette, because it, 
kind of narrowed in and oftentimes when we do these dinners, the sky's the limit. Um, that kind of reined it in and we had basically some constraints. At the end of the day, there's not an endless supply of ahi with the demand all around the world. And so what can we eat that is delicious and nutritious and affordable and, and literally right there um, where you don't need a deep sea fishing vessel to like go get your fish. <laughs> so that's, that's why I love to ape. Um, I think bringing attention to it as a, as a species and as a consumable product for somebody who would maybe come and and be looking for that like raw ahi or that that mahi mahi experience to educate somebody and say this is an invasive species this is something that is plentiful this is something that local families would eat um, that's also just as good if not more valuable than coming and having your filet of magnet crusted mahi the fish list i'm getting from our fishmongers is smaller and smaller meanwhile there's huge schools of tapi out there that are underutilized if there's a market for it, fishermen will get it. And uh, it's up to us to educate our guests, um, to, to let them know this is something that's in the Hawaiian waters, that, you know, to share the history that it was introduced and it's becoming a, a somewhat of a nuisance. It's in invading in other fish territories. Um, and it's kind of our responsibility to, to, to eat what we have and to use what we have. having that connectivity from ocean to table so you know where we're sourcing our, our seafood from. That's very important within the island setting that we're in. You know, instead of importing what we have and importing all the food, seafood, meats, whatever, you know, we need to be sustainable where we are here on the island. And if we can get all the chefs and the restaurants to know that, hey, let's buy local, let's promote local, I think we can go a long way. You know, whether you're a chef or you are a mahiai or you're a lavai'a, every sort of profession needs each other to be successful, right? And here we are, we're trying to build this movement around being more aware of um, our surroundings, being aware of our environment and how fragile our ecosystem is. And what better way to do that than, you know, through the va'a or the vessel of food. Here we are today, uh, we have, get the, have the opportunity and the privilege to share um, to share about the ape, you know, in, in the various ways that we can produce it, in the various ways that we can harvest it, and also the, the various ways that each individual, each co-producer, or, or even just each diner uh, can do their part to, you know, hopefully build a more sustainable uh, future, more, more sustainable land. The Taape Project is a collaborative effort between Conservation International Hawaii Chef Hui, and a network of local fishers, chefs, and seafood businesses working together to bring innovative ideas on how Taape can be a sustainable solution to complex challenges Hawaii faces. By working together, we can collectively continue to boost local food security, support local fishers, and help sustain our oceans in Hawaii.